The Silverado Hawks are masters of their own fate in pursuit of the Desert Sky League Championship. This win at Granite Hills puts them alone atop the DSL. Silverado moved ahead early, then fought the off a Granite Hills second half comeback to beat the Cougars 44 to 24. Joan Howard ran for six touchdowns, including a win ceiling 54 yarder in the fourth quarter after the Cougars the had closed within two touchdowns. Granite Hills rallied behind quarterback Tyler Karen, who threw for three touchdowns two to Theodore Wiggins. The teams played to a scoreless first quarter stalemate, the defenses dominating, demonstrating the effective game plan by defensive coordinators from both teams. The Cougars force Silverado three and out on the Hawks' first possession. Coach Alex Gonzalez sees his team make good gains with their running game in the early going. Deshaun Miner, a gain of 16 in the Cougars' first possession, Tyler Karen, third down completion to Deshaun Miner before a dropped pass on fourth down terminates the Cougars' initial possession. Watch Micah Pratt cut off the George Garcia block on this Cougars' second possession, which starts from their eight following Silverado's punt. Successive carries for the senior running back, Micah Pratt, eight yards here, and a first down to the 25. Tyler Karen rifles this 16-yard completion to Deshaun Miner. Tyler Karen will complete 12 of 19 this night for 193 yards and the three touchdowns. Silverado gets the ball back on a pass interception on fourth down. The Hawks' second possession begins at the Granite Hills 40. Micah Pratt getting up from the bottom of the pile. The Hawks held to a short gain. The Cougars get the ball right back. George Garcia, 56, comes up with the ball. George Garcia is 6'3", 280, among the Cougars' seniors playing their last home game of their career. Granite Hills ball at their 39. Micah Pratt driven out of bounds by Ruben Vega, 5'8", 140-pound senior defensive back. Ruben Vega will register 12 solo tackles this game and add three assists. Ruben Vega, the team's tackles leader on the season. From here on out, the Hawks pretty well grind the Cougars' ground game to a halt. Linebacker Ellen Clark leading tacklers on the second straight tackle for a loss. Long yardage situation, Omario Alexander, 99, leads the pass rush and makes it three consecutive tackles for a loss, bulldogging the Cougars quarterback for a sack on this play. Omarion Alexander, a six foot, 235 pound junior. Silverado commences the game's first scoring drive, but the Hawks have to overcome an unforced fumble creating long yardage situation. Jawan Howard gets outside and up the Hawks' sideline for a gain of 20. Then it is Darren Gandy of the Wildcat formation on the final play of the first quarter. The Hawks will set up at the Cougars' 20 to start the second 12 minute stanza. Jawan Howard gets outside and picks up nine before wrestled out of bounds at the 11. Again, the Wildcat. Darren Gandy takes the direct snap and gets outside down to the four. Darren Gandy is a 5'9", 150-pound sophomore. Next play, Darren Gandy hands off to Jawan Howard straight up the middle, plowing his way through the heart of the Cougars' goal line defense to go in standing up. Six nothing. Hawks, 59 seconds into the second quarter. Granite Hills senior quarterback Tyler Karen rallies his Cougars. Third and 10 at their own 39. Tyler Karen connects with Malik Kenny over the middle and the scat back races all the way down to the 27. Two plays later, Tyler Karen to Theodore Wiggins who goes high to grab it as coach Alex Gonzalez emphatically punches the ticket to the end zone. A 61 yard scoring drive in five plays. Tyler Karen will rally the Cougars in like manner in the second half throwing two more scoring passes. One of them another TD to Theodore Wiggins. 
Silverado follows with a drive that begins at their 29. Joan Howard for 9. Joan Howard is 5'9, right a very compact 160. Vintage Joan Howard, shedding tacklers, staying upright after hard contact, picking up added yardage, another gain of 9. Joan Howard rushes for 241 yards this night. He has gained 588 yards on 77 carries in three games. That's seven and a half yards per carry. On this third and 10 at the 24, Roberto Ruiz hits Darren Gandy, who powers ahead for the first down. Silverado's second score comes on Jawan Howard's one yard run. Roberto Ruiz hits Darren Gandy for the two-point conversion, and it is 14-6 with five and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Coach Kieran Jones' Hawks do not give the Cougars' defense time to catch their breath. Freshman kicker Caleb Gomez's kickoff is up for grabs, and it is Davon Keen, 16, finally grabbing it and holding on to the football. Davon Keen, a 5'11", 160-pound senior. Darren Gandy follows the 6'3", 265-pound Kelly Aposi Katoa and fellow blockers for a 9-yard gain. 75 is Nathaniel Mosier, Anthony Lopez, 61, a 5'11", 240-pound sophomore. On this third and five, Roberto Ruiz connects with Darren Gandy for the first down. Roberto Ruiz, a 5'10", 170-pound sophomore. Jawan Howard. Busts through a gaping hole up the middle, then jukes his way past the next defender, carrying for 14 yards to the one. But a penalty moves the Hawks back. Following the penalty from the 11, Nathaniel Mosier seals off the outside linebacker. Ruben Vega takes out the strong safety. Jawan Howard spins away from another defender and goes in standing up. By night's end, 14 touchdowns on the year for Jawan Howard. The Roberto Ruiz toss to Darren Gandy for the two-point conversion is uncontested. It's 22-6, to six, the score at halftime. The victory puts the Hawks at 3-0 atop the DSL. Granite Hill's first loss drops them into a tie for second with Victor Valley and Atalanto, the Cougars, Jackrabbits, and Saints all one-on-one -on -one in league. The Hawks have a non-league game with Hesperia next before closing out at Atalanto in two weeks. Granite Hills goes to Atalanto this week. The Victor Valley Jackrabbits go to Barstow.